And now to our other major story, the train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. The potential for catastrophe leading those in charge there to a tough decision. Earlier today, they had to decide to do a controlled release of a toxic chemical inside the rail cars, and it sent a huge column of thick black smoke and fire into the sky. Emergency crews just had a press conference, and Lauren Linder joins us live with what's new. Lauren? Megan, local officials and first responders just gave us an update here at East Palestine Elementary School saying that the controlled release of the derailed cars that were breached was successful. Now, if you take a look at your screen, this is what it looked like just after 4.30 this afternoon. There was a loud boom and flame shot up into the air, a plume of smoke filling the sky. An official from Norfolk Southern says they followed through with their plan, detonating all all five cars simultaneously. There are no more chemicals in the cars at this time, but still a small fire. It will be monitored throughout the night, and then the next step will be a process they call wrecking when they move all the cars to a safe area. Now, air quality readings are still at safe levels, uh, but that evacuation remains in place, that one mile radius surrounding the wreckage here in East Palestine. So right now, it's unclear clear though exactly when that evacuation will end but officials here want you to continue to uh, want you to continue to abide by that evacuation and stay back from the area surrounding the wreckage for now reporting live in East Palestine Lauren Linder KDK News